Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the development length. In this lecture, I am going to explain the development length with considering the frame example and we will also try to derive the uh, equation which are used to find the development length of any bar. The development length can be defined as that it is the length of the steel bar which is required to transfer the load from one structure member to another structure member. Let's consider that this is any frame structure uh, which is the com combination of the column and beam. You can see here the vertical members are the columns and the horizontal member is called as the beam. Now this frame structure is subjected to the loads. These are the vertical loads, axial load acting on the columns and this is the uniformly distributed load acting on the beam. And these are the vertical loads represented by P. So all these loads will be transferred to the column, uh, to the footing at the last foundation. Now, how I can define the development length? The development length is always provided between two different structure members so that it can transfer the load from one member to another member. Let's suppose that this is the load acting, uniformly distributed load acting on the beam and due to this load, I will provide the tension at the bottom of the beam because to resist the tensile stresses the in the beam we have tensile stresses at the bottom. So to resist these tensile stresses I always have to provide the tension reinforcement at the bottom of the beam. While to transfer this load from the beam to the column because the load will flow from this beam into the column. The load will flow in this way. Similarly this load will also be transferred into the column because the whole load will be lastly transferred to the footing as you can see at the bottom because beam will, will take the load and will transfer this load to the column so we need some reinforcement to connect the beam with the column that we call as the monolithic joint now we have to place the concrete first of all at once for both the members for the concrete for the beam as well as the column but if I put this column this column beam joint in detail and I draw it here, this is my column and this is my beam. So I can see here that due to this load which is acting on the beam, I want to transfer this load into the column. So I will, I will make the steel bar that is provided in the beam. I will extend this beam, this steel bar from the beam into the column and we call this extended bar which is in the column now is the development length so this length is called as the development length represented by the LD and this length has the you know, is its own equation to find the development length for any steel bar similarly in this case if I consider the right side of the structure member so to transfer the load into the foundation I have to I have to extend this steel bar into this column. Now the load will be transferred easily from the column from the beam into the column and then into the footing. In this case, so this length which is being extended from the beam into the column is known as the development length or and represented by the LD. So the main purpose of the development length is to transfer the load from the beam to the column or from one structure member to another structure member. It may be either connection of the slave and beam or from the slave directly into the column. And the other purpose of the development length is to uh, increase the bond strength between two different materials. Because with the help of this development length, we are going to connect the two different materials. One is, this, one is the steel bar and one is the concrete. So we have to increase the, uh, the strength of the bond strength of the two materials. We are going to increase this development length so that we have a good bond between different materials and we have a good transfer of the load from this beam into this column. So this was the main purpose that why we provide the development net. It is always provided in the joint section. Now I'm going to derive the, uh, to know about the equation of the development net. Now I'm going to write the equation for the development net. The development net equation according to the American Concrete Institute, according to the ICA codes is is the LD is equal to the development length is equal to the FY divided by 20 
divided by under root of fc dash and multiplying it with the diameter of the bar. This equation is used to find the development length for any bar, for any steel bar, according to the American Concrete Institute. I'm, I'm referring to the American Concrete Institute. While in this case, the, the Fy, which is the yield strength of the steel bar, it should be in the PSI unit, pound per square inches. The FCI should also be in the pound, pound per square inches. And the DB, which is the diameter of the bar, which we used in our case, should be in inches. So by, by, by putting all these values we can find the development length and I will also do one example now to find the development length. But this development length equation is used for number 4, for number 7 or greater bar. We can say for number 7 bar or, for, or greater bar than, than 7 so we use this equation while when we use the number 6 bar are less than the number 6 bar, the development length equation can be modified as then we would use this equation where we just change the value of 25 where it was 20, here we use 25 and the rest formula is same right, these both equations are used but this is for the number 7 or greater bar and this is used for the number 6 or smaller bar than number 6 we use this equation to find the development length and this is the this is our development length which I defined previously that the length of the steel bar which used to transfer the load from one member to another member in this case our development length can be defined as this whole length and let's suppose that we are using the concrete strength of uh, concrete strength of 3000 psi our yield strength of the steel bar is 60,000 psi and our diameter of the bar which is this one and this diameter of the bar is used here as the number 8 bar and number 8 bar has a diameter of 1 inches you should know and these all values are given to us now just putting plugging all these values into this equation because our bar is diameter is greater than the now say one so we will use this equation so if y was 60,000 dividing by 20 taking the under root of fc dash was 30,000 psi and multiplying with the 1 inches because it was 1 so we get the value of 54.7 which is almost equal to the 55 inches so the length of the development length will be provided in this case is the 55 inches this length should be provided to transfer the load from the beam to the column safely this is the way how to calculate the development length for now, in any case, so the development length is mainly dependent upon the steel of the grade, uh, which grade steel you are using in this case, and the strength of the concrete, and also and the diameter of the bar. These are the three main factors which affecting the development length. You should be very careful to calculate the length, uh, development length for your structure member, and uh, this is the code. Uh, this is the development length equation provided by the ACI codes. I'm referring especially to the American Concrete Institute. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.